Since the beginning of time, mankind has looked up at the sky and wondered about what lies beyond the Earth, our Sun, and even further yet. In Dr. Seuss's Horton Hears a Who, an elephant has discovered a world existing on a speck of dust on a clover and sets out to protect this tiny enclave of life. Like Horton's clover, our heliosphere serves as our home in the greater universe, separating and protecting us from the rest of our galaxy. We live in a region of space that we call the heliosphere. It's a bubble in the galaxy inflated by the million mile an hour solar wind, which expands out from the sun all directions in space all of the time. This boundary region at the edge of our solar system is very important scientifically as it acts as the place where material from our sun directly interacts with material from the rest of the galaxy. In addition, this region also provides shielding from dangerous galactic cosmic rays which would otherwise propagate into the solar system. NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer mission, or IBEX, is helping us understand how this region of space defines and shields our home in the galaxy. IBEX is measuring neutral particles coming in from the boundary of our solar system and telling us about the interaction of our solar system with the galaxy. What we found was a narrow ribbon of particles coming in with much higher intensity than the rest of the sky. Those particles weren't expected from any of the previous theories or models, and in fact weren't measured by the two spacecraft which everyone thought were positioned to measure the types of things in this interesting interaction region. As it turned out, the data collected by Voyager 1 and 2 as they crossed into the boundary region were a bit like having observations from two weather stations on opposite sides of the U.S. that completely missed a storm system hitting the Midwest. The IBEX data is really shocking. Nobody expected to see this bright narrow ribbon. It's not in any of the models, and it wasn't predicted by any of the scientific theories prior to our observations. The scientific community is, quite frankly, reeling right now, trying to figure out what it all means. At this moment, we don't really know what it means, but we do have some ideas and some theories. One of those, for example, is that the bright ribbon may be caused by the squeezing of our bubble, this heliosphere that we have in space, by the external magnetic field. And as it squeezes it, it appears that the region that the magnetic field is most bent and this region of space is most squeezed is exactly where the ribbon is. In a sense, magnetic field lines squeeze our heliosphere, not unlike Horton grasping the clover with his trunk. Understanding this boundary area should also provide insight into how the heliosphere protects us from interstellar radiation. What the IBEX observations appear to be showing us is that our heliosphere, this bubble in space that we live in, is actually much more affected by the local magnetic field in the galaxy than anybody had anticipated. Stay tuned for even more exciting information as we get new observations all the time from IBEX.